Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you to our witnesses also for, for being here. Um, you know, I think that obviously all, all folks in Congress, Republicans, Democrats, want a safe and secure border. I think what we have are different approaches to how we treat immigrants, a humane system, and ensuring that we don't go back to a process that was inhumane to people that are oftentimes struggling and just seeking a better life. We don't want to go back to family separation, to Muslim bans, to undermining our asylum system, and we know we can achieve a comprehensive goal that both has a secure border, but also a plan for immigrants that are here in this country and that are working hard to contribute to our economy and to our country. Now, legal pathways to ensure an orderly and humane process are important. Now, I strongly support legal immigration because we are a nation of immigrants. Immigrants are some of the most patriotic people I know in our country. They make our community stronger, they work hard, they build our country. I'm an immigrant. I came to this country as a young child. I love America. I think it's the best country on earth. When I raised my right hand, it was the proudest day of my life, and I'm giving back to this country. I try to every single day. And the same is true for everyone in my family who are also immigrants. But I also want to be clear why I think we're here today. It's because some folks in Congress, and certainly Donald Trump, think that bashing immigrants will win this election. Now, two weeks ago, during a, was a bizarre debate performance, we saw, of course, the former president repeat manufactured conspiracies about immigrants, and in this case, Haitian immigrants in Ohio. As we now remember his horrible quote, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats, they're eating the pets of the people that live here, and this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. Now, we know that's been completely debunked with the Republican governor of Ohio, the Republican mayor of the city, the city manager, and now even the woman that first made the claim, who's also a Trump supporter in Springfield, all have said that this was not true. Yet the lie continues to be repeated. J.D. Vance and other members of Congress have continued to amplify this xenophobic lie, and it's a shame. And we know it gets worse. We know that Haitian immigrants in Springfield also are over overwhelmingly there on legal work permits. So they're actually there legally and were invited by the state and the city to work. But that hasn't stopped J.D. Vance and Donald Trump from threatening to revoke their status and to allow a mass deportation agenda. Now, Donald Trump's rhetoric has been dividing us and stoking anti-immigrant hate, I believe, since he first came down that escalator in 2015 to announce that he thought Mexicans were rapists and murderers. And he says families like mine and other immigrants are poisoning the blood of this country. Those are the facts. Now, I'm glad to say that the American people, however, don't buy that. A CBS poll found that only one-third of voters approve of Trump's claims about immigrants, and almost 65% believe his recent claims are false, which we know that they are. But here are some more facts. Donald Trump is not interested in border security. He killed the bipartisan border deal that was in front of the Congress. And the Biden-Harris administration has taken robust action to secure the border, and we're now seeing the results of that. And there's no immigrant crime wave, and I respectfully disagree with the chairman. In fact, our nation is safer today and is, has less crime today than it did when Donald Trump left office. Those are the facts being reported by police departments across the country. And finally, I'll reiterate, I believe immigrants are inherently part of this country. They're the backbone of our country. They make our country safer, stronger, and better. With that, I yield back.